Hi guys, another day and another new toy for my Nikon P1000 in search of image stability. If you've seen the previous episode, I bought this really cool gimbal head for my tripod. I was gonna do some tests today, but it's raining, so we'll do the test in the car. And what did I buy? I bought a remote control, a radio remote control, or maybe that's rather Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, because, because on the camera you have an input port like this for a cable remote control, but with those huge zooms, even if you have a cable, which is really soft, still any movement of the remote control and it gets transferred onto the lens and with a really large focal length, even the slightest movement is visible. So with something like that, wireless, it shouldn't be a problem. I bought this small version. Let me just open this auction here on eBay, because on eBay, you can buy the original Nikon remote control ML07, as well as you can see a copycat from, what's that company called? Aodelan, well, there are several different names. All the remotes look exactly the same. So I suspect it's the OM that makes the remotes for Nikon. So why design something yourself? Just order a company like that to put a logo on that, slap in a huge price tag, because this seems to be exactly twice as expensive. So, so why did I get this one and not the copy of the Nikon or maybe the OM, but without the logo? Well, this one, as you can see, is a small rectangle. This one, on the other hand, has this hole like a key tag. I like loose stuff, so hopefully with a design like this, I'll be able to attach it either to the tripod or my backpack and won't lose it, at least not for a while. So, did it stop raining? No, it didn't stop raining. It's cold outside, so let's test the camera in the car. This supposedly has all the functions of the original, including not only the shutter release, but also the zoom in, zoom out. So let's see. So really nice and compact. I just hope the batteries is part of a set. I guess we won't test this today. Although, if this is the CR 2022, I might have one stashed someplace in here for my car remote control. I should have one in the key sack. Exactly, I've got one. Although this is CR2032, which is a bit thicker, I guess it should also fit. I was wondering if it should be 2032 or 2022. And here we have a description on the cover, 2032. So exactly what was needed. It's switched on, we just need to pair it with a camera. Connection, connect this smart device, choose connection. Remote control. Connect remote. Three seconds, where's the power on? Establishing connection. Done. So it looks like you need to pull the button down for three seconds. 
and then choose the connection to the remote on the camera. Although that got disconnected again. So let's try again. I just love solutions like this. Done. So it works. Plus minus zoom in, zoom out. The big button here is for shutter release. The one below it is for video. There's a function one, function two. Also all around is here. Everything seems to work. So can recommend it. According to the manual, range is something about 10 meters. I'll be going outside to test the actual range. But in general, I plan to use it standing next to the tripod, just not to move or shake the camera when taking pictures. So, so that's it for today. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and see you again soon.